were backstage fans, and that was just hideous. Bret Hart, what was that all about? What was that all about? Well, it, was just, it was nothing. Somebody got a little unprofessional, that's all. Well, they asked you on the show. You were uh, supposed to be in the skit. You seemingly snapped in the middle of the skit. I was following the script, and somebody else thought he'd get cute, okay? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. I mean, we so didn't... Wanna, don't start the whole thing over again, all right? Well, I mean, we just I saw... I got you... a really short fuse, and that last thing I need is some guy to, uh, want to, you know, be spontaneous. You want to be spontaneous? Well, we can move on if you'd like. Yeah, let's, move on. let's move on. Later on tonight, there's a match between Chris Benoit, Scott Hall, the winner, to meet you for a title match. It's super broad. Yeah, United States Heavyweight Championship. I'm yeah. I should have free reign as to who I defend my title against. Ric Flair all of a sudden thinks he's the big man around here, and he can just designate who I have to fight and when I have to fight. And, uh, you know, I don't really care. I'm not afraid of anybody. I don't care if it's Chris Benoit. I don't care if it's Scott Hall. I don't care if it's Ric Flair. I'm the United States Heavyweight Champion. I'm coming off a serious groin injury. I'd like to defend the title the way I want to against against what what about El Dandy? How about Dean Malenko? Oh, come Somebody's, on, El Dandy. Come he's a on. great wrestler. I don't know why you guys uh, shuck on this guy all the time. You know, he's a great, great professional wrestler. He's one of the best high-flying Mexican wrestlers I've ever seen. And I got respect for him. If you don't have respect for him, I guess you're a you're an expert on wrestling. El Dandy's not any good. I guess uh, uh, Dean Malenko's no good. Uh, how about uh, Rey Mysterio? Some of these guys, I I'd like Rey to Mysterio. give... Rey Mysterio? Sure, I'd give him you a must shot. You weigh him by 150 pounds. I got a groin injury. It's the perfect chance to let him match that high-flying, um, you know, Mexican stuff against somebody that's a, okay. a stalwart technician. But you, if you are the best there ever was and the best there is... Then it shouldn't matter to you if you meet Chris Benoit. I, or Scott I have already Hall. said that. I don't care, but they should be able to get in line. I should be able to designate. Right. Who would you designate? I have, I'd like to give El Dandy a shot. El Dandy a shot. Sure, I would. Okay. I'd Let's like move to on. give uh, you know all kinds of guys. How about uh, Psychosis or whatever his name is? He's a good Psychosis, a, a very formidable opponent sure. for you, Bret Hart. Let me uh, turn turn it around for just a second and give you a kudos because we mentioned earlier the uh, the documentary Wrestling with Shadows that people have been watching on A and E. Excellent job. How, over how long a period of time was that shot? I was about a year. Mm -hmm. And were were you met with any uh, resilience as to letting the cameras backstage and inside? No, I don't think anyone was fully aware of it. I mean, there's always a lot of cameras around, so you don't really worry about or pay much attention to it. All right, well, it was actually very good. I have to give you a pat on the back. Let's go back to Nitro, fans.